وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد This is your brother عبد الرحمن حسن I إن شاء الله تعالى want you to invite you to our second دورة ضبط العلم Precision in Knowledge that will take place in Canada Masjid Dar al Hijrah My beloved brothers and sisters Allah سبحانه وتعالى He sent نبي الله محمد for us And when he sent Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم he sent him with two things to do for the Ummah. Allah tells us in the Quran, رَبَّنَا وَبْعَثْ فِيهِمْ رَسُولًا مِنْهُمْ يَتْلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِكَ وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةِ وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ In another ayah, Allah says, هُوَ الَّذِي بَعَثَ فِي الْأُمِّيِّينَ رَسُولًا مِنْهُمْ يَتْلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِهِ وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ he came to do two things for this ummah. The first thing is, he subhanahu wa ta'ala, he came to educate us. That he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to educate us and to and nurture us with knowledge. And the second is, he came alayhi salatu wa salam to purify us. So it's that same mission that Nabi Allah Muhammad came to accomplish that every single one of us should also try to accomplish as well which is to nurture them, themselves every day of their life with knowledge and also to nurture themselves upon uh, tazkiyah. And Shaykh al-Islam ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah mentions that the bare minimum that is needed in knowledge is that which can bring about certainty, yaqeen. And the bare minimum that is required from a tazkiyah is that a person has sabr. And Shaykh al-Islam ibn al-Qayyim says, that if a person attains those two, he will, lead, he will reach leadership. Allah says in the Quran, وَجَعَلْنَا مِنْهُمْ أَئِمَّةِ يَهْدُونَ بِأَمْرِنَا لَمَّا صَبَرُوا وَكَانُوا بِآيَاتِنَا يُوقِنُونَ When they came with patience and certainty, Allah made them leaders. بِالصَّبْرِ وَالْيَقِينِ تُنَالُوا الْإِمَامَةَ فِي الدِّينِ With patience and certainty comes leadership. So, certainty is attained when a person gains knowledge and understands. A person whose ultimate goal in this world he sees it as to be eating and drinking is not a person who's going to attain, he's not going to attain the knowledge that Nabi Muhammad came to accomplish alayhi salatu wasalam. the poet he said, وَعَلَمْ بِأَنَّ الْعِلْمَ لَيْسَ يَنَالُهُ مَنْ هَبْمُهُ فِي مَطْعَمٍ أَوْ مَلْبَسٍ That one should know that the person whose aspiration is food and drinking, they are truly not going to gain knowledge. And a person also has to value their time in order to attain knowledge. The poet he said, That time is the most valuable, of, most valuable thing. But again, you see the people, the easiest thing that they would forsake is time. And so because of that, this Dora, Dabtul Ilm, its second time comes about in Toronto, Canada. Inshallah Ta'ala, we've chosen to go through seven books. That each and every one of them are crucial. The first kitab is Ta'zim al-Ilm, Glorifying Knowledge. And that book is written by Shaykh al-Allamah, Salih ibn Abdullah ibn Hamid al-Usaymi. The second book that we've chosen is Kitab Nukhbat al-Fikr. This kitab is written by Hafiz ibn Hajar rahimahullah. It's written by Hafiz ibn Hajar rahimahullah. ولذلك al-Allamah, Muhammad Amir al-Sanani, who says in his kitab Qasab al-Sukar, he says, وَبَعَدُ فَالنُّخْبَةُ فِي عِلْمٍ أَثَرْ مُخْتَصَرٌ يَا حَبَّذَا مِنْ مُخْتَصَرٍ ألفها الحافظ في حال السفر وهو شهاب بن علي بن حجر طلعتها يوما من الأيام فاشتقت أن أودعها نظامي فتم من بكرة ذاك اليوم إلى المساء عند وفود النوم مشتملا على الذي حواه فالحمد للرحمن لا سواه. So this kitab was written by who? حافظ بن حجر رحمه الله نخبة الفكر. It's in the science of hadith. The third book that we've chosen is kitab uh, called القواعد الفقهية written by الشيخ العلامة Abd al-Rahman ibn Nasir al-Su'diy rahimahullah. And this kitab is, it deals with qawaid fiqiyah. And he says in the kitab, فَحْرِصْ عَلَى فَهْمِكَ لِلْقَوَاعِدِ جَامِعَةِ الْمَسَائِلِ الشَّوَارِدِ لِتَرْتَقِي فِي الْعِلْمِ خَيْرَ مُرْتَقَى 
وتقتفي سبل الذي قد وفق وهذه قواعد نظمتها من كتب أهل العلم قد حصلتها جزاهم المولى عظيم الأجر والعفو مع غفرانه والبر This kitab is a قواعد الفقية book And a person who learns it as the author says لترتقي في العلم خير مرتقى وتقتفي سبل الذي قد وفق The person will reach ultimate goal and attain a lot of success The fourth book that we've chosen is مقدمة مقدمة أما مقدمة في أصول التفسير by الشيخ الإسلام by الشيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية ابن تيمية رحمه الله This book it talks about an introduction into how to do tafsir of the Quran and how to understand the books of tafsir The fifth book is كشف الشبهات كشف الشبهات is to remove the doubts that many people have pushed towards the Kitab al-Tawheed written by Muhammad Abdul Abdullahab When the author wrote the Kitab al-Tawheed there came many people who uh, opened doubts on it so the Shaykh Rahimahullah, he, he authored a kitab called Kashf al-Shubuhat, which its ultimate reason was to remove those doubts. Number six is Kitab uh, Ajrumiyah, or Al-Ajrumiyah, Al-Ajrumiyah, which is in the knowledge and the science of Nahu grammar. We will be studying that bi al kareem And last but not least, we will do Kitab Ad-Durar al-Bahiyya fi al-Masail al-Fiqiyya, written by Sheikh Muhammad Ali al-Shawkani rahimahullah. The two chapters that we're going to focus on is Kitab al-Tahara and Kitab al-Salah. I invite each and every one of you to come to benefit, to bring your notebooks, to bring your pens. And inshallah ta'ala, to take this course very serious. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me as shaytan and Allah and his messenger are free from it. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik, ashadu an la ilaha illallah, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh.